Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you um, how you can easily get a rhythm pretty fast um, just using the note repeater and a delay. To um, start with, I'm just gonna open a preset from a poly synth, maybe. So let's see what we have here. Let's just play one note. Uh, maybe we can play a chord. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to use the note repeater, which is an amazing uh, MIDI uh, FX tool. So note repeats, and you can hear. This already sounds quite different to what we started out with. Now we can go into the Euclid mode here and really play around with the rhythm. The density. Um, it's basically where we start to um, get things moving. With the rotate button, we can basically rotate the pattern the notes are playing. And with the accents, um, we decide how many strong notes there are. With the gate, we can tell um, if it should play shorter or longer. In this case, I want to have it a bit longer. Decays for the velocity. So we can now start to um, move things a little bit up by adding modulation. So we're going to start with a filter on the polysynth and we can just add a normal LFO and assign it to the filter. a little bit too fast so we can open this up and change the speed of the LFO on the top here that sounds good to me we can also modulate some more like the resonance So modulate this. Maybe a little bit less. And I also want to add noise. Now on the note repeater, we also can start modulating things. For example, the gate. We can use a random. And we can take a steps modulator for the decay. Just randomize it, uh, generate a randomized pattern here. Oh. 
want to uh, lower the amount here a little bit. And now um, what we can also add is like the new delay plugin, the delay plus, which really gives um, the whole thing an extra uh, movement. So let's start to modulate also some parameters here. But I want to start the modulation from 0%. So basically, I drop this down, start the modulation again. So it should go up until here. We can add another one. Maybe an LFO. So always when you think there's a bit too much modulation going on, what you can do is to lower the amount. Yeah, so basically that's it. Um, Sounds good to me. We could start now building our drums and all the other elements um, around it. Maybe add another synth and copy some values and yeah, get things moving. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe for more and I see you in the next video. Bye.